I, I want to say before we start, we're going to have a mega show Thursday. Yes. Bond has court uh, have a court hearing, a procedure. Yes. We're gonna Thursday at four o'clock when I come home. We're gonna have a big old uh, powwow. We'll have a nice build up, and then we'll come back Thursday for a nice super show. We'll have a nice big show, and uh, we'll discuss the findings and what what happened and all that. And it, obviously, it's gonna be victory. I know the trolls are probably gonna say, but I, I can hear it now. The trolls are gonna say it's gonna Vaughn's gonna lose. Vaughn's not, and then what's gonna happen? Vaughn's gonna walk away with big old money bags. <laughs> So well, I have you to. trolls can keep on saying he's Vaughn's gonna lose. Go, do it because that's good. That's good uh, karma for Vaughn. <laughs> well, the thing of it is, they I I cannot lose. This is well, the, your the, your case is ear shut. Yeah, be ear tight. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an ear. It's 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 an ear tight case. So there's no way you can lose. Hmm. <clears throat> did did James Arnold Cross walk into district court with not one but two fake documents? Yes, he did. Absolutely, that is that is, that is on he, record. That is on the court day, record. Uh, court record. He walked in with a with a fake eviction notice, and he walked in with a fake will claiming that he was the executor. Okay, where I come from, we call those felonies. I don't know what the fuck you call them, but we call them felonies where I come from. So yeah, I have an airtight case. There's no way I can lose. The only way I can lose is if that judge is literally bought and paid for. That's the only way I can lose. And I got a funny feeling, as powerful as this judge is, he is not bought and paid for. Sorry. I got a funny feeling. They, they, mm -hmm. they, they can tamper. They can manipulate. They can do all types of cockamamie bullshit. But at the end of the day, it's a hear, it's it's hear, it's ear tight. It's ear tight. That's it. I mean. Just prepare yourself. For those who are watching, all the trolls that are watching, prepare yourself. You, I saw a lot of you lose your mind when Vaughn won the trailer. I, I saw a lot of you go mental. Okay, I mean, secular almost fucking slit his wrist when I when I mean he was just I mean he, you know what I mean? I mean he was just out of it. I mean Todd was fucking screaming on top of his brains, couldn't believe it. He was fucking typing in the comments like, "Oh, you, ba 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 ba." So. You know, just brace yourself. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. But yeah, um, now this the, tomorrow, uh, well, not tomorrow, but Thursday. I don't expect much to happen Thursday. Uh, Thursday is going to be me walking in saying, hey, I'm representing the Von Hilton versus the Frost case. And um, the judge is going to uh, look over the paperwork and and then he'll set a date for the actual court case and and then that'll be it. I don't I don't expect anything to happen Thursday except setting up the actual court date. I think this is just going to be a preliminary um if I understood the secretary cr correctly all this is is um a like a town hall thing where everybody that's got a grievance, they go in and say, well, you know, here's my court case. And, you know, and, you know, we all we all you do is listen all, all morning to people that have court cases ready to go. And then the judge hears them and then picks, you know, dates for for the, for all of them. That's all I think. That's all I think Thursday is going to be. However, if it looks like. I can I can get a summary judgment Thursday. I will. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm I, I'm going to try because I mean it is documented in not one but two courts of law that he went in there and committed perjury and committed larceny and committed um, forgeries. Family court. He went in and committed perjury, and he paid other people to go in and commit perjury. Uh, suborning perjury, I think is what they call that. Uh, but it's just, uh, you know, I mean, he is now perjury isn't a felony. However, paying people to lie in court might be. I have to look that one up. You can't do that, folks. Okay. You can't, you can't do that. I got an email. Oh, yeah, you did? Mm hmm. Yeah, let me find it. By a troll or something good? By a troll. Let me find it. Bon, your gods will do nothing while you fail big time and get laughed out of court. You forgot that the trolls have been miles ahead of you every day for 20 years. 
and 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 I'm like and I'm like, yeah, that's why I won most of my court cases in family court and district court, right? That, that's right. The trolls have been miles ahead of you. They've been miles ahead of you. Wrong. They've been wrong the whole time. How many? How many? Cock, like I was just saying, they had so many cockamamie theories about what's why Vaughn's gonna lose and and how he's gonna go to prison. Remember, Vaughn was supposed to be in prison. Yeah. Remember that one. Oh, yeah. oh, Vaughn's going to go into court, and he's going to get arrested. And what happened? Vaughn didn't go to court and get arrested. Vaughn went to court and got the keys to the trailer, baby. Mm-hmm. Vaughn went to court and got the fucking, the fucking trailer, man. So mm-hmm. I don't know the estate, entire estate. So I don't know where who these trolls are listening to. I know that I know they li- I know that you know secular has a big pull, and and Todd and all these people. But I don't know why you're listening to these losers for, guys. You, Vaughn has shown that he, he's, he's got the gods on his side. Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, it's now that you know, the, troll, the trolls are right to an extent because, you know, the gods have helped me. And if the gods hadn't helped me, I probably would have lost my case because I wouldn't have known to ask the judge. For a copy of the will that doesn't have James Orrin Frost's name on it, and the god and the gods actually put those words in my mouth to ask the judge, and the judge is like, "Yeah, as a matter of fact, you have every legal right to see any document uh, that we that we're in possession of." And well, lo and behold, uh, there was a will that was out James Arnold Frost's name on it. Imagine that, and it just happened to be the real will. Uh, right? It just happened to be the real will instead of a fake. So, but I don't so, understand but the, how the government doesn't take take it in their own hands. I mean, if I walked in the court <clears> with fake documents, they they would be knocking on my door the next day saying, "Okay, John, you gotta come with us now for fake do- for forging documents." I mean, I don't understand what's going on in Clay County or what's going into the state of Kentucky. The I don't understand. I, I because don't if understand. you're fucking going into court and and giving fake documents. The, the the judge doesn't doesn't the judge notify someone? Hey, supposed cops, to. Uh, hey, police, they're fucking using hey FBI. Hey, whatever. Hey, who? Well, they, whatever. here's the they're thing, right John. There. Here's the thing. That that eviction notice that he had. Mom looked right at it. Mom was there. Mom looked right at the eviction notice. She said, "I never authorized that, and that's not my signature." So I looked at it. And it wasn't her signature. That was not my mom's signature. I, my mom has a very unique signature, and it was that was not it. That was not my mother's signature. So that right there, that right there, the bail at that point when mom said that's not my document, that's not my signature, the bailiff should have came over and immediately arrested James Arnold Frost for fraud. Yeah, and maybe even for arsony, but definitely for fraud. And why they didn't, I have no idea. I have no clue. But he should have been arrested immediately. I think that's what I think that's what broke everything is when is when they're like, yeah, man, we want we want to kill this guy. We're going to cut off his food, cut off his electricity, throw him out in fifteen below zero weather, and and the judges are like, no, we're not we're not killing a man. We're not going to go that far. And um, you know, especially a model citizen with no criminal record. Holy shit! Yeah, they're not they're, they're not stupid. I mean, ju- judges, you know, judges sometimes can be manipulated. That that's the truth. Sometimes a judge can be manipulated. But uh, you know, like I said, I I think that's what broke it was when they wanted to actually kill me. Yeah, and, maybe, they, and, maybe they don't want blood on their hands. I mean, yeah, they I don't want. They, well, yeah, duh. They don't want blood on your hands. If you get blood on your hands, that's something you can't get. When you've got when you, you got a model citizen, right? when you got a model citizen with no criminal record turning up dead. That's yeah, gonna, and, that's and most gonna, people will go along with bad things, but once they hear about people dying and stuff, they get cold feet on that. Exactly, and that, and and not only that, that would send off alarm bells all over Kentucky. Model citizen dead under mysterious circumstances. Yeah, that no no judge would ever sign off on that shit. No way. I I, I refuse to believe it. You know, yeah, some judges can be manipulated. Some can be bought. Some can be you know coerced or whatever. But when it comes to harming somebody, especially somebody innocent, I just don't see any judge, no matter how corrupt they are, going that far because that is way over the line. 
and I just don't see it happening. And that and that's that's what it was. They they went way over the line, and the judges snapped out of it. And it's like, ha, ha, wait, no, wait, no, 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 we're not doing that shit. And that was the end of that. Uh, let's see if I can. Um, oh yeah, there's more to this. Um, the court case is going to get dismissed. I can assure you of that. I hope you get EBT or else you're going to be as skinny as a rail until you check yourself into a psych ward. Uh, you may actually get Social Security when you tell them you speak to your gods and cast magic spells. Hey, dumbass, I don't know if you're aware of this, but everybody down here talks to God. And I mean everybody, because everybody down here is, an, is a, a, a Christian primarily Southern Baptist, but there's also a few evangelicals. But everybody down here talks to their, their deity, everyone. Okay, that's normal down here. You know, I know in the big city, atheism is, is the norm. Well, down here in the South, you know, religion is the norm. Speaking with your deity of choice is the norm. That's not an exception. And so, no, I'm sorry to disappoint you. The judge is not going to think I'm crazy because I believe in a deity or deities in my case, and that I speak with them. He's not. He's just not, because that's what every Christian does. That's what everybody down here does. But yeah, nobody, nobody's going to throw me in jail for that. Nobody's going to put me in a psych ward for that, because they'd have to put every everybody in Clay County in a psych ward if they did that, because everybody down here talks to God in one way or another, either through prayer or supplication or what have you. But everybody down here talks to their deity. Yes, they do. So, no, the judge is not going to think that's crazy. Sorry, troll. That's not that's not going to happen. Uh, either way, the trolls have finally knocked you out for good. No, they have not. No, they have not. And like I said, all Thursday is is just, hey, judge, I have a, I have a court pending, a court case pending, and uh, we'll set up a, a date for the actual court case. And um, now I don't know if how elaborate this is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be a jury trial or if it's just going to be uh, me and the judge and uh, and Frost or or how it's going to be. I don't I don't know what in the world to expect. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. And um, but I mean, like I said, it's it's an open and shut case. He walked into district court with two fraudulent documents. He walked into family court and committed perjury. Then he paid other people to walk into family court and commit perjury. He paid people to call CPS and lie and say that my kids were covered in urine and feces, which a street beggar wouldn't even do to their kids, let alone me. Nobody is going to send their kids to school like that, okay? Nobody. So, you know, uh, just crazy, uh, crazy, craziness. And uh, the fact that, you know, he has manipulated two courts of law to get his agenda done is not going to bode well for him in court. Sorry, it's not going to bode well for him in court. And even let's say let's say uh, let's say Stivers has scrubbed every fucking court document there is. Well, the nice part about it is, is that I have backups. So I hope Stivers has uh, erased all the documents. Because then I come back to the house and I, I pull out all these manila envelopes and say, oh, wow, look what I found here, judge. And then Stivers goes to prison and Frost goes to prison right then. Right then and there. They go to prison right then and there. No ifs, ands, or buts on that one. Now, my, now this is not a civil court like family court and district court. This is circuit court, which handles large sums of money, murders, rapes, that sort of thing. It is a big time court. It's still a county court, I think, but it's but it's but it handles much, much bigger cases. So with that said, um, you know, I don't know. If it's going to be, uh, I, I, I don't think a jury is necessary. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. I mean, like I said, it's open and shut. He walked into district court with two fraudulent documents. He walked into family court, committed perjury, uh, open and shut, you know, and, and he, he lied about being the executor. Uh, I was the executor the whole damn time. Um, let's see. I forget now what, what we found out the, the date was, I think we said the, the, the date on, on the actual, 
uh, document was uh, now his fake document was like 2015 or some shit like that. Uh, but the actual will uh, was like 2017, I think, something like that. Anyway, uh, but, you know, his fake, obviously, when you're writing a fake document, you want to put it before the real one. And in that way, it looks authentic. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't a real document. It was a forgery. And, you know, that's that's a felony. That is a felony as far as I know. Um, you know, and until somebody tells me different, I'm going to keep believing it's a felony, but, um, you know, we'll see how things go, but yeah, um, you know, uh, the court case is not going to get dismissed. It's an open and shut case. It can't be dismissed. The only way the court case could get, could get dismissed is if the judge, uh, you know, doesn't know what's going on or something, which I doubt. I'm sure the judge will be very well briefed on what in the world's going on. And, um, you know, but it, but it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it's a documented fact that he walked into court with two fake documents in his hands. And, you know, that's, a, that's an automatic felony. Oh. She was mind controlled. She was manipulated by James Arnold Frost. Now you can call it mind control. You can call it black man. I don't give a fuck what you call it, but there is no question that she did. Cause I confronted her in front of the entire damn staff. I said, mom, who told you to sell the family businesses? James Arnold Frost. Hey, mom, who told you to sell my daddy's stuff when he died? James Arnold Frost. Hey, mom, who told you to renege on, on the, uh, on the uh, 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 student loans? James Arnold Frost. You know, I get James Arnold Frost all fucking day long in that courtroom. Make the judge kind of bored. <laughs> but I could do that. I could do it all day. Like I said, I believe there's a special place in outer darkness for people that do shit like this. Manipulate families and, and children and adults. But, um, you know, um, the gods wouldn't let me intervene. I, I actually tried to intervene and the gods are like, no, we're handling it because they know me. They know me. They know me. Do you think I'd have let this drug on as long as it would have? No way in hell. No way in hell. But the gods wanted it to drag out because they wanted to make it so absolutely airtight that these are criminals. And that they're performing, they're performing criminal acts that when we go into a court of law, it's ironclad, that there's no way that you can say anything else. You know, you can't you can't sit there. Oh, well, well, he he forged a document, but he did it for legal reasons. No, no, it don't work that way. It doesn't work that way. There is no justification for forging a legal document. No, there is not. You know, likewise, when he took all the money out of her bank account. There is no legal recourse for stealing from someone. I don't give a damn what your excuse is. Theft is theft, period. He had no authority, no right to take the money out of her bank account. No, he did not. I don't give a damn what his reasoning is. Likewise, when they took the money out of this closet, they had no legal right to remove the money from this closet. No, they did not. That is theft. Period. Actually, it's grand theft because we're talking about millions and millions of dollars here. So, yeah, it's theft. There is no justification for breaking the law. No, there is not. So when James Arnold Frost cleaned out her bank account, he committed grand theft. $4.3 million minimum. That's just the cash. That's not counting all the... The, the, the treasury bills, certificates of deposit, World War II bonds, insurance policies, et cetera. Now, the Frost did give me some old insurance policies that were expired. Well, whoop de shit. Where's the current ones? Where are they at? Oh, I don't have them. Where's the title deed to my truck? Don't have that. They got it. They still have it. I had to file lost title just to put tags on my truck. Okay. What they are doing is patently illegal. There is nothing legal about stealing shit from an elderly woman. No, there is not. Particularly manipulating her into taking her property away from her and giving it to themselves like they did to me. I lived on that Sester property. That was my home. They come down here. James goes over there, whispers in her ear or whatever the hell it is he does, manipulated her, coerced her, used black magic, whatever the fuck he done, 
and got her to literally kick me out of my own home and give it to him. Well, you know what? That's not a legal transaction of a piece of real estate. No, it is not. I don't give a damn if he filled out a hundred pieces of paper at the courthouse. I don't care how much paperwork he's done at the courthouse. It's null and void because he manipulated someone. Okay. That is not a legal transaction, real estate transaction. It's not a legal real estate transaction. You are not allowed to manipulate someone like that. He sure as fuck not allowed to kick me off my own damn property. Holy fuck. You know. So yeah, that is that is not legal. There's no way you can say it's legal. And so, you know, he's in he's in a lot of hot water. And no matter how, no matter how this pans out, I'm getting that Sester property back. He'll have to give it back anyway because all the money he spent. He spent a shit ton of my money. It's been a shit ton of it. So he's going to have to give the Sester property back anyway. Well, here's the thing. You know, they're saying, oh, well, the Frost spent all the money. Well, okay, if they spent all the money, then they're going to have to work it out with Clay County. And then Clay County is going to have to give me my money. That's, just, that's how that shit works. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I'm i entitled to get my money, man. That's mine. It don't belong to the Frost. It belongs to me. It should have never been taken by the Frost. And And here's where the Frost messed up. Where the Frost messed up, was by not putting all that stuff in the estate account. They put it in an out-of-state bank account, or or, or in, in Larry's uh, terms, a federal bank. Well, I thought all banks were federally insured, but whatever. Uh, he, he said, it's a federal bank. I said, what? I never heard of such a thing as a federal bank. You know, uh, all banks are federally insured, folks. But anyway... Um, but anyway, it's an out of state bank, I'm sure, because those World War II bonds, especially, are going to be hot tamales, man. People's going to ask a lot of questions about those World War II war bonds. It's like, where did you get these from again? <laughs> you know, oh, I got them from my Aunt Alice. Well, that's not going to help you. That's not good enough, particularly when she has a living son. Yeah, that's not going to that's not going to bode well. That's not going to bode well. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to see. But now Thursday, don't expect much on Thursday. Thursday is going to be, hey, uh, I've got a pending court case. Oh, okay. Well, we'll set the court date at such and such, you know, and that's going to be it. That's going to be it. We'll see. Hopefully they're not going to set it up months in, in advance. I hope it's going to be like this month or maybe next month at the most. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. So don't expect much out of Thursday. Thursday is just going to be, hey, judge, I have a pending court case. And it'll be like, oh, okay, well, we'll set it up on such and such a date. Uh, that's probably the way it's going to go down. That would be my guess. Is that that's how it's going to go down. So you're getting, so this judge that you're getting, you, you already know the judge that you're getting for this court case? Yeah, it's Judge House. Judge House. Now, um, have you dealt with him in the past? No. No. Okay. Well, not that I remember. I may have actually never mind. I, I may have. I don't know. Um, I've done see years ago I was a I was the head juror in 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 the court in the old courthouse. Oh, okay. why are you okay? In, in the old courthouse, I was head juror for a long time. And uh because I was the only one with court experience, and so they kept picking me over and over and over again. Of course, now with my bum feet and legs, you know. Uh, ain't much I can do about that. Um, but, um, um, where we're at now, uh, with this new, uh, courthouse, we got a new courthouse, we got a whole slew of new judges. So I may not have, uh, served under this judge. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, you know, if I recognize him, I recognize him. If I don't, I don't. Um, but we'll see. Um, but like I said, this Thursday though, I don't expect it to be, um, I don't expect it to be much, um, uh, as far as I know, um, it's just going to be to set up a court date. That's, that's it. Uh, hopefully one this month, <laughs> not next month, but this month and, uh, get it done and get it handled. But I'm going to, I'm going to try, I'm going to try and ask for summary judgment. If I, if I see my way clear, if I see my way clear, I, I may try for, to ask for summary judgment. Now, summary it's, judgment will do what? Summary judgment is where I get up there and I say, judge, this is an open and shut case. It's ironclad. He, 
he walked into district court with two fake documents. He is not the executor. He never was the executor. I was the real executor. He deceived the court. He deceived the judge. He deceived the lawyers, even his own lawyer, which is kind of ironic. Um, and, and so, you know, uh, open and shut case, you know, and, and, and then, and then I say, well, you know, and, and in light of that, I'm calling for a summary judgment. In other words, I'm calling for a decision on the, on the case right then and there. Now, um, I may not be able to do no, that. Some, wait, hold on before we continue. Does a summary judgment uh, reward you money, or what? What, what exactly happens uh, with a summary judgment now? Does the judge go, okay, the you're summary right? Summary judgment. What a summary judgment is, is where you're wanting to, to end right now, and so the judge will look at the available data, and then he will come back and render a decision. Okay, right it there. ends right there that day, but yeah. How, okay, you win. What do you get? Do you do you? If get I anything? win, I get what I asked for: my kids and my and my inheritance and the Cessna yeah. property okay. and 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 all the you know all the so stuff that belongs. So they to already you. know what. You, so so going into this court uh, case, the judge is already already knows what you want from your yeah. end of the deal. Pretty much, uh, yeah. It's already on those papers. Yeah, pretty follow. much. Yeah, pretty much. And the papers say, "Hey, I I need to get reward this amount of money." Right. And I and, and because they lied about what happened and I lost my kids because of it, I should get my kids back for what they did to me. Absolutely. Okay, so they know. So the judge they know already that. knows. Okay. They know that. Yeah. And then now is it. it possible that the judge will say, you know what, I agree with you, Vaughn. Give me a week to deliberate. And then and then the judge thinks about it for a week and then it comes back and he says, You know what? I thought about it. You're right. Is that a possibility that the judge could do too? It could be, yeah. Okay. It could be. Yeah, this, I, I, got, I got a good case. I got a good feeling about it. I think the judge, if you if you speak your case right now, because you're going to court, I mean on Thursday, are the frosts gonna be there? Are they are they gonna show up? They're supposed to be there. They were served. They were served, they were served papers. They were served papers by me. <laughs> I oh. hand delivered them. I okay, literally now, hand delivered did they the put, now did they put papers to the judge saying what they want? I don't know. I don't know, nor do I care. Uh, but I do. Well, have you, you got to know the information. In. They should give you the information if they give you papers, right? Yeah, I they mean, what already I, have. I guess what I'm saying they, is, everyone should know what's happening. So if right. they give papers, they should give you the papers. Well, too. If, they, if, they, if there's paperwork to be had, I should get a copy. Yes. All um, right. So I'll, I'll see you Thursday. We'll do a yep. show Thursday. All right. We'll have, have a show Thursday. All right. Tomorrow. All right. Bye bye. Take it easy. Yep.